Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we blend two videos together like this. We're gonna be using some of the masking features in Final Cut Pro, and then also some of the keying features to kind of get a better blend of these images. So we're gonna dive into a new project here, and I've just got these two videos which we're gonna to blend together. So we're actually gonna place this video above the second video. So I'm gonna click and hold on this and just drag it up, and then with the magnetic timeline, things will kind of snap into place. So I'm gonna do Shift and Z so we can see everything that's on the timeline. Now, the first thing to note is that this clip here is a slightly different aspect ratio to the clip behind it. So I'm just gonna get it to fill the space there. So up in the inspector, with that top clip selected, I can get it to fill the space. And we want these two singers to be facing one another. So I'm just gonna tap the V key here, and you can see that in both these clips, especially the part we're seeing at the beginning here, which is what we want, actually just stretch this out a little bit here. We're across on the right with that singer, and then if we tap V, we're in the same position with the other singer. So I'm gonna flip this clip. So the first thing to do is to come to our video effects on the right, and we'll go to all video and audio, and make sure you're in your effects panel here, and we're gonna type in a search right down the bottom for flip, which is gonna give us the flipped effect, and it's gonna just allow us to drag that on, and it will reverse the clip. So a super easy way to kind of flip your clips in Final Cut Pro. Now we're gonna to come to our transform controls and we're just gonna move this clip a little bit more to the left and we'll scale this up just a little bit as well. So we're filling that area from top to bottom. So we're just gonna scroll through this clip and see how that frames. We'll move this in a little bit more and that's looking pretty good. So with this clip now, just gonna come to the end of that and use option and the right square bracket to trim it down so they're both exactly the same length. I'm gonna use the shape mask. So I'm gonna come to my effects cross on the right, just clear the flip search at the bottom there. And we're gonna come down to our masks. And in here, we're looking for the shape mask. Now we can use other different masks as well, but the shape mask is the easiest one that we've got enough control over that will allow us to kind of modify the shape. Now when you add masks, if you have the transform controls turned on here at the bottom left of our video, then you won't see that red mask panel that pops up or the red mask overlay that pops up to control the position and feathering at the end of the mask. So we just need to make sure we turn the transform off so we bring up that red panel. And then what we're gonna do is just increase the height of it. I'm gonna drag this across to the left and then we'll just stretch that out so we get a bit more of a feather at the edge of that. So you can see here now, I still need to move this video a little bit more to the left. And this one, I can move a little bit more to the right and increase the size of it. And you see right from the get go, with just that quick adding of the mask, we get a reasonably decent blend of these two videos. Now the one thing I'm not too happy about here is this big green block that we see at the back here. And so we're gonna use a key to get rid of that. So I'm gonna select my topmost clip again. We'll come up to keying, and we're gonna choose the, the key here. We'll just drag this onto our clip. And then what we wanna do is use the sample color option here, which is gonna allow us to sample that background color up here from the wall. So I'm gonna come and turn the transform properties off again, and then I can draw out on that top left of that image because we have this layer selected. It's now blending those two together. And you can see we get this nice blend of those two images. I need to modify the position of this one and maybe the scale a little bit just so that we're filling that background area across the left here where we've keyed out that background color. So now you can see when we play this through, we get this nice key, There's still a little bit of noise in there, but we can modify and refine that um, by making more samples of that color. Now the other thing that happens here as well is we get this strange kind of shadow in some parts from the shape mask. So sometimes up in the inspector, you'll need to change the order of your effects up here. I'm actually gonna move my key up above the shape mask. So it's adding the key before we add the shape mask. And with the transform options off, I can now just modify the position of this a little bit. I'm just gonna try and get rid of that edge of that wall that was in that background shot. And we'll see how that kind of plays through the whole area. We've still got a little bit of noise at the beginning here. 
So we're going to come to our Kia. I'll grab the selection there and we'll just add a selection here and see if that fixes it. So you may find you need to kind of move through your clip and modify your Kia a little bit as you're, you're working through. Sometimes edge or sample color will work a little bit better. Um, just keep an eye out for that. Sometimes you can chop out parts of the image that you don't want it. So you can see that's looking reasonably decent. But again, you can work on that and modify the Kia with these settings here. This is just a quick overview of how to do this. If we come back to the beginning now, we can look at the blend we have of these two videos. So a quick overview of how to blend two videos. For a quick blend, I think that's looking pretty good. I may just reposition my shape mask a little bit or start to look at maybe using something other than a shape mask. So if we come to our masks here, something like the draw mask will give us a more accurate key as we move through here. So we can really kind of dive into some of the, the detail around here. Maybe I'm gonna zoom out a little just so I can grab those edges. We can add a feather to our draw mask as well. I've got a little bit of different control for this draw mask too. So we've got our feather for our draw mask as well. So we can feather in different parts of that draw mask and kind of soften up some of the edges there. So you can play around with and work on those different elements until you get just the effect that you're you're looking for. In our original Kia, we were getting a little bit of some holes up in the headphones here. So we can just look for those just in here and we'll just see if we can fill those holes. So we're removing that noise up here in the headphones just by filling the holes. So the Kia in Final Cut Pro works really well, um, but obviously you will need to do some refinements as you move through. So for a quick blend of these two videos, that's looking pretty nice. And you can see if we go back to our original video here, you can see how this can be used on this kind of split screen effect or by blending two parts of the same shot. So we have the musician and the instrument that's being played both in the same shot here. Another nice way to use that blend of these two shots. So if you have any questions about this technique or other techniques in Final Cut Pro, then please do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.